Wargaming. Wargaming is a publisher and developer of free-to-play games mostly. Wargaming as an entity has 150 million subscriptions. If we talk about the active audience, it's around 2 million. The biggest game that we have is World of Tanks. Everybody can play the game without any upfront investment. And you start playing the game for free and frankly, you can get all the best experience for free. If you really want to progress faster or if you want to stand out with some specific customization, this is where you can spend some money, get some exclusive content. Our main challenge for the most part is converting non-payers to payers. In terms of personalization, we tried several times some rule-based methodologies. It's time consuming to come up with all these rules and you are never sure these rules will apply to some specific groups of the audience. So we already had in mind that AI was definitely something we need to target and to go with. For a long time, we're thinking that reinforcement learning and AI needs to be more targeted than just an approach of segments. This is the segment of our player populations and we're gonna give them all one offer. So we wanted to go further than that. OfferFit is an automated experimentation platform that aims to accelerate the creation of human knowledge. We replace A-B testing with self-learning AI. So we're currently in Prague with Wargaming. We have a really interesting use case here with their freemium model to get players who aren't spending to make their first purchase. Usually when you launch some experiments, some campaigns, you watch it, how it works, how it performs, how many users it has, and you tweak it, you remove what's not working, it's a big chunk of manual work, which is replaced. And if you have a model like of a fit, which actually does everything instead of me, it is a huge benefit. We can try different approaches, different bundling strategies, and we can test all of them without having to rethink everything compared to rule-based engine. OfferFit runs once a day uh, overnight, and based on all of the historical data and what it's learned in the space, is actually creating a set of personalization recommendations that are held until a gamer would reach that point in the game. So have you won a certain number of battles or lost a certain number of battles? And then at that point in time, does it make sense actually to reach out with an offer that would capitalize on that moment in time? On the pilot, the regular control group, we were getting conversion rate of a three and a half percent. And on the offer feed group, we were getting the conversion rate of 10.1 percent, pretty much triple compared to the regular control group. What we saw was actually the incremental uplift first to our control group versus business as usual versus offer fit where offer fit overperformed all of them. We're very impressed with our partnership and the expectations that were met. They listened to what we had to say, they adjusted. What reinforcement learning gives us compared to the traditional approach is anticipating the needs of a player and giving them exactly what they want at a time. And I think that that's where the future involvement of AI is, is the reinforcement learning.